Hi everyone, my name's Adriana and I'm one of the sonographers at the University of Auckland. Today we're going to be learning about how to scan the pancreas. So here we have our lovely volunteer Bruce who's going to be helping us scan. Bruce, if I could just get you to scoot your body nice and close towards me. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that our patient is nice and close so that our ergonomics can be good. The other thing is actually, I'm going to get you to scooch a little bit closer, perfect, and keep this arm just across your chest the way you have it now. What I'm going to do is apply some warm gel onto your tummy. If at any point you are really uncomfortable, just let me know, okay? When we apply the gel, we don't want to have the tip of the gel bottle touching the patient um, so that we can reduce any infection control. The next thing that I'm going to do is pick up my transducer. I'm going to be scanning with the Curve 5 One probe. Um, this is going to allow me to have optimal depth and penetration while I'm scanning. The next thing that I'm going to do is let the patient know that I'm going to start scanning. There's going to be a little bit of pressure and if at any point the pressure is too much, just let me know, okay? So we'll put the probe down and the first thing that I want to do is try and identify the pancreas on my screen. So I know some of the landmarks that I'm going to be looking for, which is the um, splenic vein and portal confluence. I can see that the pancreas is now at the very anterior portion of my screen. Before I start scanning, I'm going to adjust my depth and my focus to make sure that it matches with um, what I am looking at. The next thing that I'm going to do is break up my interrogation in the transverse plane so that I'm only interrogating the head. So when you're ready, Bruce, just take a big breath in and hold that breath in for me. So first, I'm only going to be looking at the pancreatic head so I can sweep and I'm going to go all the way through that tissue and I'm going to come all the way back up and let my patient breathe. Good. The next thing that I'm going to do is that same interrogation, but now focusing on the body and the tail of the pancreas. So again, Bruce, when you're ready, a big breath in and hold that breath. And again, I'm starting superior and I'm sweeping inferiorly, looking at the tail and changing my depth as I sweep through and coming back up and I'm done. Now before I take any images, I'm going to do an interrogation in the longitudinal plane. So I've rotated my transducer and now I'm going to start by looking at the pancreatic head, which is just going to be seen anterior to the IVC. So when you're ready, Bruce, a big breath. Sorry, breathe normally. Good. And we're going to sweep. And again, I'm moving my focus and my depth to match what I'm scanning all the way through and I come out and back to where I started. Breathe. Good. What's really important when we're scanning is that we scan in two planes and that we image every single part of the pancreas independently. So a lot of the time sonographers will only take images um, in the transverse plane. You can also take images in the longitudinal plane. The first thing that I'm going to do is take an overall gland shot of the pancreas. So again, a nice big breath when you're ready. Hold that breath in. And here we can see the lovely pancreatic body and tail just like that. Breathe normally. We can annotate this trans pancreas. The next thing that I might do is take a picture just of the pancreatic head. So again, a big breath and hold it. And we're going to adjust our depth to match what we are imaging. Breathe normally. Now I might annotate it trans pancreas and we're going to just add an H for head. The next thing that I'm going to do is take one of the body and tail, big breath, and I'm just angling my transducer so I can see that beautiful pancreatic tail along with the body and breathe. And we'll take that image there. If we were to take any images in longitudinal, we would do the same thing where now we can go ahead and freeze the image at the level of the head. So again, we would be freezing the image probably about here, annotating long or sag pink head. 
we could then go ahead and take an image of the body and the body is quite thin in comparison to the head and tail. A big breath in for me when you're ready. Good, and hold that breath. So probably about here. And then we could go ahead and take an image of the tail. And just making sure that we adjust our depth and focus, breathe. So that the focus is at the posterior aspect of what we are scanning and imaging. That is all. If you tend to be struggling with the pancreas, try different breathing techniques. Have your patient push their belly out. Maybe you might want to get them to drink a glass of water. When they drink the water, their stomach will fill up and can act as a beautiful acoustic window for the pancreas. One other technique which can be kind of difficult on the patient is having them prop their elbows up and then take a big breath in, which can help move some bowel gas out of the way. Good luck with scanning the pancreas.